Hello Aquarius, this is your July 2020 past, present, future reading. The song that came out on the shelf for you was Stay Scheming by Rick Ross and Drake. Um, not too many lines stuck out to me, but the lines that did stick out were um, It bothers me when the gods get to acting like the broads. Um, I just ask that when you see me speak up, nigga, that's all. I forget how the rest of that goes. But, um... You want the masculine to be the masculine. Like, you feel you feel like, um, you just feeling like niggas be on some bitch ass shit. Like, it's like, are you a man or like what? Like, not saying that, you know, they aren't exhibiting their feminine qualities, but it's like, it's like, their feminine is outweighing their masculine and that's like a turn off for you you're like whoa like what's going on you were giving me like man tease now i'm giving she man um yeah and the other line that stood out was um stay scheming niggas trying to get at me so um i feel like you are on the scene like you're dating you're doing your one two and it says niggas trying to get at me I feel like um, you have potential suitors, but they probably don't really interest you. Um, and Aquarius is um, want someone who like is magnetic and captures their attention because you know it's hard to capture their attention. Like so, they just they want something that captures their attention. Um, that's that's what I'm getting. Um, okay, so we'll start with the reading. So the first card is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a card. The theme is um, public acclaim and success. So I feel like in your past, like, you you had this, um, you were on this pedestal where you were, like, put in the public's eye and... You had people, like, celebrating you, um, championing you, but you also had, like, although people were, like, um, proud of you, you also had a handful of people who were not proud of you. Um, I feel like with this public acclaim that you have, like, you had to do a lot to get there. Like, um, these people don't know, like, the things that you went through. Like, because, you know, you're very detached. Like, you don't really let people in. You, you know, you, you, you're a closed book. But um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like these people, they, I don't know. I'm not gonna say I don't know, but I feel like these people, they may be like congratulating you, but at the same time, it's like an underhanded compliment. So um, be mindful of the company that you keep. Be mindful. I said this in Virgo's reading. Be mindful of who's following you, because I feel like people could be sending like bad energy to you via the internet. So they can just simply look at your post or look at look at your pictures on your page and be wishing um evil uh, not evil but bad energy um, um to towards you what's this no so you had the emperor in reverse for your present so the emperor is an authority figure um the other themes of this card is ambition and material stability so this is in reverse so um you're feeling like you're not in your full authority. Um, you feel like your material stability is kind of shaky. Like um, you may not be working right now. So it's like you, it's like you're counting all your ducks and you're keeping your ducks in a row. Um, 
that's all I got for that one. I'm not feeling, yeah, I'm not feeling anything else. But that was in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you're not, you're the authority on something, but you're not, currently you're not pursuing it or like, it's at, it's at a standstill or something. And I feel like this will contribute to your material stability. So whatever it is, you know, keep at it. In your future, you have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles speaks to change and versatility. I also um, use this as a card. Um, maybe you're juggling your finances. It's like, okay, I'm going to pay 50 on this bill, but then I'm going to throw 75 on this bill. Um... I feel like, hmm, I feel like um, you're accessing your emotions, but you're making sure that you don't let them override you. Like you're making it your business to be, um, you're making it your business to be grounded. Like you're not getting caught up in your emotions, but you, you are, you are exploring them. I'll say that you are exploring your emotions, but you're not getting stuck in a feeling. Which is a good thing. You're not supposed to get stuck in your feelings. Fill them and then let them pass through. Your overall energy is death. So Aquarius is calling for you to um, whatever these low, lower vibrational habits that you have is calling for you to cut them out. So you can cut them out by gradually stopping whatever it is. Oh, excuse me. Whether that is um, not um, not loving people fully or being selfish or getting what you need and it's like forget what the other person needs. So, or um, even self-sabotage. So it's calling for some something you'll know, like something you need to work on. It's t it's time for you to um, it's time for you to work on it. Okay, your overall not overall energy. I'm sorry, your subconscious energy, which is something that is basically running the show, is dictating how you react to others and all the things. Um, is the nine of swords. So. If you look at this, you can see that these knives aren't even touching her. So it's like you're psyching yourself out about something that isn't even happening. So you can be feeling uh, feelings of anxiety. Um, you could be at not in alignment with your heart and your mind. And you're trying to like make sense of things. But it's like your heart and your mind are, there's a, there's a conf, there's an internal conflict. And you're trying to balance the both of them while still honoring both of them. So um, that's proven to be like a, a arduous task for you. Um, but I feel like you can, you're, in, you're going in the right direction. 